Good evening, Sagittations, my BNB fans. So, you know, up to this point, I haven't really understood why so many people do not like Liam Spencer. Today, I'm starting to get an idea. I mean, is this guy just ever happy at this point? Is he just like, all he's been doing since Thomas has gotten back working on um, Hope for the Future is whining and complaining. Okay? This is all he does in this episode. And you can tell that the characters around him are just up to here with him. Okay, he's whining to Steffi, and Steffi is like, "Listen, I don't know how many times I can sit there and explain this to you. Like, I, I can't, I can't sit there and keep going back and forth with you. Mentally, it's just exhausting at this point. Um, trying to reassure him that everything's going to be okay, and that Thomas is not going to do anything. Now, this is where this character kind of falls short a little bit in this particular scene, because Steffi's like. Well, if anything goes, it's like, I, I don't exactly remember how she worded it, but she was like, um, you don't have to worry about anything from Thomas's side. Okay. You don't have to worry about anything from Thomas. And I'm like, well, what do you mean from Thomas's point of view? I'm just not thinking, this is the question he's going to ask her. He doesn't ask her that. It just goes right over his head, and I'm just like, actually, I had to sit there and rewind that thing because I was like, wait, did I, did I miss something? Did I miss the point where where he was like, what do you mean? I don't have any, anything to worry about from from his side. Whoa, <laughs> what are you saying about my wife? Like, what's what's going on? But nothing, nothing. He does get a call. He does get a call from Hope. Because the pilot is like, hey, listen, we're good. We're going to sit there and, and take her back to L.A. So Hope calls him up, and it's all getting great, right? You would think it's all getting great. But for some odd reason, even though that she's coming back, guess what this man continues to do? Why and complain? And then he's having a meeting. And why is Smithy talking about business? And why is like, yo, listen, what's 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 going on? And like 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 you gotta sit there and talk to me because I'm sitting there trying to talk to you about business and let me guess. Open Thomas. And he's another person that says, guess what? This is starting to get old. This is starting to get tired really fast. If you think it's tired for those two characters, think about it from my point of view. We have been sitting there watching this guy whine and complain. I feel like at this point, I'm whining and complaining about this guy. But it, once again, he does exactly the same thing. He even tells Wyatt that Hope and Thomas are coming back. Yet he's still finding ways to whine and complain about it. Which, even on a surface level, Let's just sit there and say they did actually have to stay in San Francisco. Is there only one hotel that they can be at? You know? And even even from their point of view, Hope Houston they tell me that like the only place you were able to sit there and eat was in this man's room. You know, the same guy who Liam despises with the with the fiery burn. <laughs> Why are you spending time eating with this guy? You know how you... I was sitting there trying to make a joke and it just didn't work out. But my point is... You just had to eat with him. I mean, of course, you had to sit there and eat with him because you're attracted to this guy and... um, Like, it just... Just even to sit there and respect him, you, you, you couldn't sit there and eat somewhere else. Going to get a separate hotel room. I think that's what just makes this whole thing so stupid. Even if they did wind up doing that. He got so worried that they were going to sit there and share a hotel. I'm like, what would they share a hotel for? 
there, there's only one hotel that's in the in the in in whole facility. That just makes sense to to who. So eventually, they go on. They get on the um, they go on a plane. You know, she has something wrong with her neck, like a stiff neck or something. So Thomas starts massaging her neck, right? And it's like this thing went from a soap opera to um how do I sit there and say this in the most PG way thirteen possible? It went from a soap to um <laughs> Uh, I can't. Just, anyway, it went from that to um something that used to come on at three o'clock in the morning on HBO. We'll, we'll sit there and put it that way. And of course, it doesn't really go anywhere. There's one point where I sit there and kiss in the beginning, and of course, they got a phone call, so that didn't happen. And of course, she turns around. She looks like she's about to kiss him, and it's it just like at this point, I'm just kind of like, "Yo, can y'all just hope? Oh, can you just do this whole thing just to get it out of your system? And like, whatever you need to sit there and do, okay? Just, just do it to get out of your system, because clearly, like yoga or working out or whatever else. I mean, how many times you sit there and bang Liam? You're not gonna get it out of your system, especially when you're sitting there doing that and you're thinking about Thomas." not going to be able to sit there and get it out. So just do it, get it out the way, and you'll feel better before you start to feel a lot worse. Um, of course, Finn is there to, um, I don't know, you, you know, stuff he needs to sit there and make out with somebody. So after that, they talk about, of course, Liam, I mean, Liam and Thomas and the Hope situation. And towards the end, stuff he's like, listen, I'm not worried about Thomas, okay? I'm worried about Hope. And you can tell um, Finn is like, I'm sorry, what? You, you, you looking, you, you worried about her? You're not worried about your, um, your, your very stable brother? <laughs> he just has that look of confusion on his face. And this is where we are now. <clears throat> this is where we are now. So... Let me just double check something. Yeah, I feel like that's about it. <laughs> I feel like that's about it. Um, I keep forgetting that B and B is like, well, I mean, obviously it's the most shorter out of out of the whole. But even when I know some, just like, yeah, that's that's, uh, that's that's pretty much about it. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Yeah, so much stuff that's, just, that's going on besides that. You have RJ that's back. That seems like, you know, right now, he doesn't really seem like he has that much of a purpose. Hopefully, they give him something to do. And of course, you have this whole Bill and Kate and Carter thing going on, that new love triangle that's supposed to happen, or which, again, is so stupid. It's so stupid. And you know, the sad thing is that I don't even feel bad for Carter. I don't even feel bad for Carter. You know, the way he treated Paris... It was trash. The sad thing is that I don't even feel bad for for, for Paris. Because the way that she treated Zende was trash. I heard, and I said this before, rumors that um Zoe is coming back and I'm Ugh I, I don't know how I feel about that. I remember when I first started watching the show and um I, I was still kinda new, but like right off the bat I was like, yo, I can't stand this joke. Like, right then and there, it was like, I couldn't stand that chick with a passion. And I felt like in some ways, besides the fact that Paris does look good, is that um, he made me like Paris even more. And so I didn't. Um, anyway, I feel like that's pretty much what I did. I can't really think of anything that's still wound up happening. So if I didn't miss anything, you know what to do. Come to a live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We're going to be sitting there talking about all of them. B&B, YNR, GH, Days, all of it for an hour. From 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. So just whatever you, whatever time frame that you are you are in, it'll be going on for an hour. We're going to have a lot of fun doing it, so definitely come through. 
With that being said, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.